started yet. Not yet. Okay. <laughs> All right. So everybody out there, here we go. We are with our uh, first Big West Conference member of the day. Um, Team Easton loves having UC Santa Barbara with us. Bree's here today. This was her 13th season as the Gauchos head coach. Um, I'm going to give the, the kids out there, the people watching, a little rundown on kind of where you've been. So before becoming a coach, Bree was a stud at Princeton University. Um, scholar athlete, team captain, finished her career as a hitter, hitting over 350, and extremely impressive on the bump, too, one, or in the circle, a 1.47 ERA. So a two-way stud, um, Ivy League player and pitcher of the year in the same season, and Princeton Sports Woman of the Year. What? That's outstanding. Oh, I don't God. even think I knew all I that. Uh, yeah, I forgot. I forgot a lot about that too. Thirteen years. That's like fifteen years ago. So yeah. Well, well, thanks for mentioning that. <laughs> we're, we're 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 all old. Yeah. So yeah. okay. So you've continued racking up the hardware as a coach at UCSB. I think two times you've been the Big West uh, Softball Coach of the Year. Um, this is a funky year, and you've been there for a long time. Like, the season just ends, coronavirus. Right. I mean, it's got to, like, you know, people are sad. Like, how do you stay motivated? Like, wh wh what do you tell your I players? Think, I think that's a question for everybody, you know? Sure. It's like, how do, how do we stay motivated? What are we doing? I mean, you're at home, homeschooling. So everybody has the challenge of staying motivated and getting after it. But, you know, we just got off a call with, uh, our players and watching softball. There's been a lot of softball that's on TV, just trying to stay after it and knowing, you know, it feels like it's far away, seven months, eight months, nine months, whenever it happens. But we just have to be ready for when we actually do get together. So, you know, it's now is the time to focus on all the things that we usually don't get to focus on, like the mental training, the strategy, watching other teams, see what they're doing well, see what we can do right now to to stay strong and maintain all the work that they put in when they were together. So I think a lot of it's just staying connected and, and remembering why we're doing what we're doing. So yeah. trying to keep it top of mind while knowing that there's a lot of uncertainty for everybody. Um, but again, there's a lot of softball on TV. There's a lot of softball online, you know, so we're just trying to be students of the game. So, you know, so many times when people are injured or they, they say if you had an opportunity to learn the game, it'd be great if you were an umpire and then a coach and then a player because all the things that you don't see when you're actually out on the field, we get to focus on. So it's been, it's been you know, try to, trying to make the most of it and do what we can. Yeah, that's right. You can yeah. control your controllables and you can, you know, play the hand that you're dealt. And right now we're dealt right. the hand where, you know, a player at home, uh, from a seven-year-old rec player to a 17-year-old high school player to a girl on your team, like they can exactly. learn a lot and they can work yeah. a lot and try new yeah. things. Everybody's um, being creative, you yeah. know? Yeah. And you can do other things to stay in shape. I mean, hey, you can go UCSB, you can go surfing. Yeah. <laughs> You, you can, can go, go hike surfing. in the hills like you've got exactly i mean go talk about a great dance. place to coach brie uh, i know I, I, I don't know if it gets better than that i mean i that's why i'm still here you know 13 years and still counting it's it's a great place and it, it's pretty easy when you drive onto campus because you go through the gate you have the ocean on one side you dent in the campus there's the airport that's just north isla vista to the west um, so it's pretty, you know, once we get people on campus, that's, that's the easy part. That's probably the most noticeable, noticeable part, but then you have, you know, top five public institution, you have programs that are already at UCSB that have won national championships. Yeah. I know you just had check it's on yesterday yeah. and the things that he's doing with the baseball program. So you can do a lot at UCSB. You could be a student, you could be an athlete, you could live in a beautiful place. You know, the dorm rooms have... You know, I don't. I don't have a view like their the the dorm rooms, but you could walk down to the beach. So it's a pretty special place. It it sure is. I mean, you can you can go paddle out at Campus Point in the morning and then be at softball practice in the afternoon. <laughs> I, it's yeah, one well, of the exactly right. It's one of the things that we spoke about yesterday, Andrew and I. Like, how do you keep a player focused? One at your school and two everywhere and, and three during this stay. You know, at home time. How do you stay focused on the fact that softball is coming back and, you know, you're going right. to play again? Yeah. 
I think it's just, again, reminding them of their goals because when it's easy when you're going through the recruiting process to have ideas on, on what you think it's going to be like and what it's going to look like and hold on to those goals when you're going, again, through the recruiting process and when you're early. And then, you know, the longer that you're in school, you start getting a little bit bigger picture. You're graduating and you're going to have a job and maybe your goals fall a little bit, you know, it becomes other things become more important. So it's just reminding them of what their goals were when they first started, when they were seven, eight, 10, when they're going through the recruiting process and, and reminding them to stay hungry. So, you know, I think, I think it's a, it's a challenge and, but it's such a great opportunity because if you graduate from UCSB in four years and you had an opportunity to live in a beautiful place and you're a student athlete, you know, there's 25,000 people that go to UCSB, maybe like four to 5,000 that graduate, but you only have 500 that are student athletes and you only, there's only four or five people who are softball players. Yeah. So it's like, it's, you know, there's a reason why student athletes are one of the most recruited kind of employees. Absolutely. They can, they can do a lot, you know? It's an absolute, it's an absolute grind and talk about mm -hmm. for a minute, the commitment that it takes to be a student athlete, let alone a gaucho. That commitment is very important. For sure. Yes. Yeah. I mean, having to ta time manage and just the classes that you're taking, you know, we have um, psychology majors, people that want to do bio. We had an engineer that's graduating this year, Kayla Krantz and I mean, to be an engineer, just an engineer and not be a student athlete or just to be a student athlete. So to be both, you know, that's pretty incredible time management and just being able to manage stress. And I know? think Kayla actually reached out to me. She wants to try and get an internship yes. in Houston. Yeah, she wants to stay stick with it. So love that. That's yes. very cool. And I, hey, we love when you guys come in and because, you know, we're sort of close. We're probably 40 minutes away. Mm -hmm. So you bring your team in from time to time to test the bats. And I take them on a yes. tour and like, oh, you know, they love that. Yeah. They love that. And they it love opened the equipment, the, the advance this year. I mean, they were so excited to move through season with the equipment that that we got and just the technology and how it looks and how it feels. I know they were really we were really loving just the gear. So the gear is yeah. good. And I mean, let's touch on that for a sec. I, I think it was cool when they came in because I took all your players through and mm -hmm. I introduced them to our girl. We've got a girl, Linda Hunt, who designs all of our ghost bats. So like these are products for women that are designed by women. Our catcher's gear designed by, you know, Jen Schroeder. We got Julie right. Burton, who played at UCLA, yeah. who helps us mm -hmm. design all our stuff. So I think it's really cool for them to see full circle how we run this thing. Yeah, when you were you were pulling way ahead and they were still stuck in the, the glove room or whatever that was, they yeah, they didn't want to leave. So love Hey, that. let's talk about real quick, so the routine that your players have. Like what is a what is a typical day in the life of a UCSB student athlete? Oh, uh, this is always a funny question because I get this at camps and I'm always like, you know, I could tell you what I think that you're doing, but I, you know, I don't know for sure, but what, you know, a typical day, let's just say it's season and it's maybe a Tuesday, they lift Tuesday, Thursday, so wake up at 7, 6.45, go to a lift, ride their bike, um, to the ICA building, which is where our weight room is, get after in the weight room. Um, go to class for however many hours they have and then maybe hit up study hall and then practice from two to whatever time and then again go back to studying and of course there's eating and all that but where they're riding from in Isla Vista that you know they take their bikes there's a ton of miles of, of bike paths through campus I know some of them drive to um, maybe Uber I don't know what they're doing but uh, yeah that's a typical day go to the wake up, work out, go to school, uh, have an opportunity to kind of take your bike by the beach if you'd like, and then go to the field and do it all over again. It's, so, a, lot of, it, it's a lot of work. And I think it's one of the things that's a very important part of like what you guys mm -hmm. as coaches do is letting the young kids know how hard it actually is to go and play college softball anywhere. I mean, yes, it, 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 no. it sometimes sure. means putting your life on hold, your personal well, you're, life. Well, you're competing against some of the best in the country and definitely the state it's UCSB is a really tough place to get into. So, I mean, the people that are there and who they're competing against in the classroom, like if they could 
make it and thrive there, then they're certainly setting themselves up for good things once they graduate. Yep. So, yeah. So, hey, okay. So what, what, is, what makes a really good gaucho? What makes a good mm -hmm. gaucho player? You know, we've been having the players share their favorite quotes. Um, you know, we have our team Zoom meetings every Tuesday, Thursday, and, and there's always like excellence and hard work and commitment and teamwork. And, you know, a lot of those things that you see on all these memes, but but really it's it's just that dedication and it's their commitment to what their goals are both on the field and in the classroom and being able to take care of a lot of things. Cause again, you're, you're juggling a lot, but what it comes down to is how committed and how passionate are you about what you're doing? And you can be passionate and you can be committed and want all these things, but there has to be the work ethic behind it. And there has to be the big picture teamwork behind it. So, you know, really about being a gaucho, it's, it's being knowing the privilege of being a gaucho and what it means to graduate from a, a UC and much less live at Santa Barbara and being able to go out there and, and represent where they're coming from. So it's, it's excellence in all things and being a team player and working hard for that. Very cool. All right. Yeah. So a couple, a couple last questions. And um, so campus diamond, you've got a, a beautiful field in the middle of campus over there. Everyone can mm -hmm. ride their bike there and watch a game. Um, yes. Any upgrades coming in the future? Uh, tell tell people yeah. about the facility. Facility again, it's right. It's close to our um, our athletics building. It's right. We're all you know, right by baseball, right across the street from soccer. Uh, great location, closer to Isla Vista, so easy to get to. Uh, we just there's been a lot of work to the actual like playing service. We get that done all the time. Uh, we want to put in new bullpens in the next couple years or so. Um, you know, I mean, things are, it's kind of a weird time right now. And there's still some upgrades that are being done to other facilities, but we really want to get into the, the hitting facility, you know, yeah. work on that. Cause we have lights where they can get in there, but we want to make that bigger and better for them. And that's, that's the focus of, of our staff. And I know the, the players are always asking for, you know, they want, they want more, more ways to hit and more ways to work out. That's right. Yes. And I would say that, and, them, and all, all that built, you know, that helps, you know, you're a coach, you were a player that builds team camaraderie. Like the more they can spend time together and with you, mm -hmm. the better the culture is. So if you right. build it, they will, but you don't <laughs> have to build it there. They're coming anyways, but if you build right. it, sky's the limit. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so all right. I asked Chex yesterday, best breakfast burrito in Isla Vista. What do you got? Oh, man. You know, I wouldn't go with Freebirds. And I'll, I'll go with something that's not even in, in Isla Vista there. You got to go downtown to get it. But it's it's at Savoy. And I'll even go the, the uh, you could even get it with the French fries. Gosh, what's the place I used to go to? It's not there anymore. But I'll go with Savoy. I'll go with Savoy downtown. Right. For breakfast burrito. I'll try yeah. that the next time I'm up there. I yep. mean, hey, Santa Barbara, the American Riviera. What a place to coach. <laughs> yep. It's yeah, seven, you're welcome. 73 every day, all day. Yes, right now, in fact. It's time. You got to go to the beach. Hey, Bree. <laughs> hey, we appreciate you coming on. We love having you a member of Team East. End. Yeah, thanks for inviting. Good. To see you. Good to see you too. Stay safe. Stay ready. Keep your All team right. fired up. You too. All right. Okay. Thanks. Bye, guys. Okay.